today's video is going to be pretty much a full look using some Gourmand Girls products. I finally um, was able to pick up a couple more products from Christina's makeup brand. If you guys don't know what Gourmand Girls Cosmetics is, it is owned by a lovely YouTuber here on YouTube. Her name is Christina Gourmand and her brand is named Gourmand Girls after her last name. Me and her have been talking and connecting ever since I did a look with the exquisite palette. She messaged me on Instagram and we just started talking from there because she saw me post it on my stories and we've just been talking since then. She is literally one of the sweetest girls I've ever met and literally we have developed such a beautiful friendship from YouTube and I seriously could not think of a better brand to support than this lovely brand right here and I'm really really excited to jump into these products with you guys. I did get sent this palette by Debbie because um, I did become a member of her channel and this was one of the point perks that you got for uh, joining her channel. So I was able to try out the Gourmand Girls formula. I was curious about Gourmand Girls for a while but I just didn't want to overwhelm myself with too many eyeshadow palettes at the time, but then she had sent this to me, and this palette is really beautiful, so I am going to just do probably a pretty simple neutral look today because that's just what I'm feeling, so I'm just going to take the shade Sunshine. Actually, mm, yeah. Yeah, we'll do something warm tone, so I'm going to take the shade Sunshine. And I'm going to pop that into my crease. I am working in like a little bit, but I have a little while to film, so I think we will be okay. I'm not going to film everything. I'm going to skip through foundation and stuff. And we'll just film with the products that I picked up because I really have been looking forward to doing a full Gourmand Girls video for a while. And I haven't used these other products yet yet except for the blush um but i haven't used the highlighting palette or the lipstick yet so i wanted to try them all out in a video for you guys i haven't used this palette since my best friend passed passed away it was a little bit hard for me to bring myself to you know have that memory again when i use this palette but i really just wanted to show it some more love and just do another look for you guys so I don't know if I think I need a little bit more I just need to build up the mat a little bit more so I've been kind of taking a break what this is kind of be gonna be a chit chat get ready with me because there's quite a bit I have to update you guys on but let's just talk about makeup first so I've been kind of been on a low buy lately I haven't really bought much other than from Gourmand Girls and like a maybe a couple of beauty finds from uh, Marshalls. But other than that, I have been trying to keep my makeup buying at a limit right now because there are quite a bit of things going on that I need to pay for that are more important than makeup. So I have to have a dental filling next week for a cavity and some other stuff that's going on that I just can't afford a lot of makeup right now. Um, so I'm just going to use the orange shade right here. Also because since I did pay for a car last month, like the down payment, and now I'm paying the monthly payments, like I've been trying to slow down with buying makeup recently. I've only purchased from one brand that's been on my list for a while, which is Lethal Cosmetics. I finally decided to place an order with them because I have been selling quite a bit of makeup on Poshmark and I've gotten rid of quite a few eyeshadow palettes that I just don't use anymore um, that I just feel like I'm making room to try new things and getting rid of older things that I'm not really into anymore. So I did just list... Uh, recently list my Kaleidos Cyber Bronze palette and I'm not saying that I don't love Kaleidos because I really really do. I was just thinking about 
I haven't even touched that palette this year and honestly if I want to use a Kaleidos palette 99.9% .9 of the time I'm going to be reaching for the Angelica Nikos palette over the Cyber Bronze palette so I just figured why am I going to keep this when I know it's probably going to sell on Poshmark and for me I got the Cyber Bronze palette when there wasn't really that many options with the 15 pan palettes with Kaleidos. The only palette that they came out with that had the 15 pan layout, which I prefer over a six pan palette, even though a six pan palette is less overwhelming for me, um, I'd rather have a 15 pan palette from them than like a small six pan palette because 99.9% .9 of the time I'm not reaching for my smaller palettes. I always go for a 12 pan or the smallest palette I really go for are my ColourPop 9 pan palettes. So I'm just going to use the Dead Planet shade on the outer corners just to add some depth. But honestly, I just thought about it that I really was just not going to reach for it anymore. In practicality of what my makeup collection is at this point, I am really trying to be very picky about what I keep in my collection and what I'm getting rid of. I've decluttered a lot. Um, I mean, I still have a big collection and nobody needs this much makeup, but I've been cleaning out a ton. I did a, another lipstick declutter like last month, and then I tried to get rid of quite a few blush palettes and blushes and some highlighters because as you guys know, I've just been buying way too many blushes this year. I was like, I need to declutter at least a few. It's not because I feel obligated to declutter just to get rid of things. It's more so that if I don't clean out regularly at this point, it doesn't fit in my drawer anymore. So I'm just like, let me just go through the products that I know I'm just not going to use anymore. And why are, am I going to keep it here? Basically, it's just a space issue. Like, I want to keep my collection to not overflow into another drawer just because I have too much crap. Why not just sell what I'm not using and make money on it? Because I'm not just going to throw it out. I'm going to try and sell it. So, I know it's used makeup, but there is a market out there for used makeup. So, yeah, I decided to place my first order... Um, on Lethal Cosmetics. They've been a brand that I've been interested in for quite a while. Um, and I decided to order a 12 pan palette from them. I picked out 12 eyeshadows. I picked out a couple shimmers and some mattes. And then I also ordered their highlighting palette. Not their highlighting palette. It's like a customizable like face palette where you can do like blushes and highlights. So I did I think I did two blushes and one highlighter, which I don't know why I didn't do, 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 oh my god, I cannot speak. I guess because I wanted a little bit more blush options because to go with the eyeshadows, so I got two blushes and um, one highlighter. So I'm really excited for that, but I decided to, the only reason why I ordered that over everything else is because since they're an international brand, they are going to take quite a while to get to me like it says a month for how long it's going to take so that doesn't really overwhelm me as much as like buying from like ColourPop where it comes in like two days so okay so for the lid shade I'm going to use the gold which is called the core it's such a stunning gold I absolutely love this color you guys know again I mean I say in every single video how much of a sucker I am for gold eyeshadows I just they're literally my favorite um, shimmer to wear. I just love gold eyeshadows. I love gold highlighters. And it's so funny because for me, I love gold shimmers as opposed to silver, but I love silver jewelry way more than gold. So it's just a little bit weird. I mean, obviously I don't have to match my makeup to what um, jewelry I wear because obviously that doesn't fucking matter to me but I just find it funny that like I gravitate way more to gold probably because I'm such a warm eyeshadow lover and I always think of a gold to be a warm toned shimmer and a silver I always think of as a cool toned shimmer so that's probably why 
Um, but I just can't get enough of gold everything when it comes to makeup. So I'm just going to, have to finish applying that shimmer. And then we are going to get into the rest of the products. I'm so excited to try them. Everyone has been raving about this um, highlighting palette. So I'm so excited to try it. It's called the Bold and Brilliant Highlighting Palette by Gourmand Girls. I also ordered one of the blushes. And this one is called... I forgot the name. I'll tell you guys when I use it. And then I also ordered one of her liquid lipsticks. And this one's in the shade Send Nudes. It's so funny because when I was ordering... Um, I accidentally ordered the wrong lip shade. I mean, the shade was still really pretty, but I didn't realize that there was another, like, nude-toned lippy that I wanted a little bit more than the one that I ordered. So I messaged her, and I was like, hey, is it okay if I change my lippy to the, um, to this one? And Christina was like, oh my god, girl, I almost, I already went to pack it. Like, literally... I sent her my order just telling her that I had ordered from her website finally because like I've been planning to order from her. I just, you know, needed the, the money to do it. So I was like, I finally ordered from your website and then I showed her the order and then she's like, I'm going to pack it right now. Like literally like 20 minutes later, I was like, damn, I'm like, you are so fast. I was like, it's okay. Take your time. And then I said, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I just dug my finger into one of the shadows. I mean, it's fine, but now it's underneath my nail. Yay. Um, I'll just wash that off in a second. <sighs> um, so I was like, hey, is it okay? I get this one instead. And she was like, girl, I was like, I'm sorry. Um, so she um, was so nice to um, change the lipstick for me and packed the one that I said that I wanted. So, um, and it literally came in like less than four days because it was USPS priority mail, which is three day shipping, but it came so quickly and I'm just so excited to try everything. I know everything's going to be beautiful. Um, I don't remember the last time I actually tried a smaller brand, um, besides Lele Posh. I tried to try, you know, smaller, um, brands and indie brands at least you know, quite a few times a year, like Lethal Cosmetics. Um, what are the other new brands to me this year? Gourmand Girls, obviously. Um, I try to find a balance to try everything that I want to try, but not overwhelm myself completely. So now I'm going to do my base and then we'll jump into the rest of the products. Okay, so let's come back to the eyes. I did my base and everything, but I'm going to use a mascara that I want to use a sample of. And this is um, Chanel's Volume de Chanel mascara. My mom usually gets these um, as samples when she orders her brow pencil from Chanel. My mom switched over to Chanel makeup like a couple of years ago um, because she was originally wearing um, NARS makeup for a while, but she said that she wanted to switch over her makeup to a different brand. And I was like, mom, if you want something good for mature women, you should go for Chanel. And this one lady that we knew at Bloomingdale's did her makeup once and she's also an older mature woman and she did her makeup absolutely beautiful because she's a mature woman herself so she knows what looks good on mature women so um Chanel's like basically the only brand my mom orders from I know it's bougie but it makes her look absolutely beautiful and she always gets the Chanel volume de Chanel mascara as one of the um samples so now um, I'm just going to go back into the Gourmand Girls palette. I'm going to use one of, and I'm going to use an inner corner shade. Um, and that shade's called Milky Way. There's like literally 10 million things on my desk. And it's driving me freaking insane. I'm just going to use that on the inner corners. I'm not going to be able to tell you guys what I used on my face until I get home because, of course, I'm running out of time because that's what always happens. So I'm just going to pop that on the inner corners. 
And that's pretty much it for the eyes. Pretty simple neutral look because that's what I was feeling today. I got home pretty late. I mean, not like super late last night. But for me, it's like ever since having COVID, like staying out late, <laughs> it's not like a walk in the park anymore. Like you get freaking tired. So when I got home last night, I didn't just have to, you know, shower and get ready for bed. My I also usually wash my hair every Friday night after I get home from my friend's pool because, well, I don't usually get my hair wet because it's just... I don't know. I just hate the feeling of chlorine in my hair. So I usually just sit in her pool, but I usually wash my hair every Friday night because it gets super sticky and humid sitting in her backyard. But I didn't get home till like 1230. And then I talked to my mom for almost an hour about another situation. Um, I'm just going to do my bronzer on camera. I'm using the Gucci bronzer. And... I didn't wash my hair until almost like 1.45 in the morning because I was going to wait to wash it tonight, but I was like, no, like I felt gross, so I had to wash it. And also because my friend usually runs like a bonfire at her house and you basically smell like bonfire when you get home. So I really, it's not a bad smell. It's just like, I feel like dirty, like smelling like that, like the next day. So I wanted to wash my hair, so... Okay, so now we are going to go into the rest of the Gourmand Girls products. Just let me put on some bottom lash mascara real okay, quick. So now we're going to go into the blush that I picked up from Gourmand Girls. So this is the, I'm not really sure what these are called, but this is the Gourmand Girls blush in the shade You're a Doll. I have used this once and it was so pretty on the skin, super buttery, and it has like a little bit of a glow to it. It's so pretty on the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. And blush up my skin with this blush and it's just so pretty and smooth on the skin like her formulas are just so easy to use and pretty on the skin so I really have been enjoying her formulas a lot like seriously so soft and pretty on the skin and it just blends in really nicely like no one really um, you, I haven't really seen many people that have Gourmand Girls products talk about her blushes as much as her eyeshadow palettes and her highlighters, her highlighting palette. So, but these are really, really good. I would highly suggest them because I think they're really nice. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead in with the, we're going to go ahead. <laughs> we're going to go in with the, um, bold and brilliant highlighting palette. And I am super excited to use this. And it has these four beautiful shades in it. Um, so we have Moonstone, Sunstone, Pink Diamond, and Bronze Crystal. Bronzed Crystal. So I'm going to go into the gold shade, of course, which is called Sunstone. And I'm going to use that to highlight today. I really was just waiting for this video to use these highlighters. They look so super smooth and pretty. I mean her shimmers in the exquisite palette are just so smooth and this is no exception that is really beautiful wow that's really pretty i'm gonna do the same on this side i guess it wasn't really a chatty get ready with me since i didn't really have time to talk about anything else because your girl's always in a hurry all the time so but i really have been enjoying talking to Christina. She is such a sweet soul and if you're looking for a company to support that is really just going to appreciate every moment and she really appreciates her customers and thanks them all personally and I just love that. So she's a really sweet girl and you won't regret picking up anything from her because her products are stunning. So oh my god that's so pretty. Wowzers! I love that. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and jump into the lips. Okay, and then for the lips, we're going to go into the Gourmand Girls Liquid Lipstick in the shade Send Nudes. And obviously, I said the shade name of this before. I don't know why I had to read it off again. So we're just going to go ahead and apply that. Oh, that's pretty. That's really light, though.
This kind of reminds me of ABH's Soul Hollywood. And it also reminds me of the formula of ABH's liquid lipsticks. So we'll see how this holds up on the lips. But it feels really nice and it's very pigmented. And it's actually not too pale with my pale skin. So I do like that too. It has like a certain warmness to it. All right, I have to go to work, so I will show you guys everything later. Okay, so hey there, guys. So I am home from work now, so I just wanted to go through what is on my face and tell you guys my thoughts of everything. So for my uh, primer, I use the MAC Prep and Prime, of course, uh, Fix Plus Cucumber Scent, and then I use my, oops, that's the wrong thing, my Milk Hydro Grip Primer to prime my face, and then I used my Dior Face and Body Foundation in the shade Zero Warm, uh, for my foundation and then for my concealer I use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear um, in the shade Porcelain and then I just set my face with my Pat McGrath powder underneath my eyes and then I used of course my Dior powder I love these two together the Dior face and body backstage foundation and the backstage powder it's like a match made in heaven um, so as far as everything that I tried today, I pretty much love everything. You guys know that I love this palette. I've done a full face of, full, I did a full first impressions on this palette and I love it. It's just so pretty. I love how the eyeshadows blend. I also really do like this blush. It's nice and smooth and makes your cheeks a little bit glowy and it's just, it's so nice. And then of course, the highlighting palette is beautiful. It really gives your um, face this beautiful highlighted glow and it doesn't look texturized whatsoever. It is so pretty. I can't wait to try the other shades in this palette and I think that they're going to be really pretty. I mean, this one's a little bit too dark for me, but I think this palette looks beautiful and I can't wait to try the other shades. And then as far as the liquid lipstick go goes, it was the only thing that I was a little bit um, iffy about when I first you know, tried it earlier. It did feel a little bit dry on my lips, but after I was wearing it for literally right after I got to work, it felt really nice on the lips. It does get a little bit um, wrinkly though, but it does feel really nice and it is pigmented and it stayed on pretty well. The only thing is that it is a little bit drying. Um, so with reapplying, I would just, you know, um, just reapply it like once or twice, but honestly, it feels really nice on the lips. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I love you guys. So this is the finished look. Just a really nice, warm, neutral eye, and I love everything. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram, CPW819, CPW819, and check out my Poshmark at the same handle. Um, and I love you guys. Um, I have to go because I'm going to watch a couple of shows with my mom. So yeah, bye.